Everyone is deathly afraid of AI taking over the world, and depending who you ask, it's, it's not, not more than five, five years, years, that's, that's for, for sure. sure. Is that really what people think? You know, maybe Canada's not a bad backup plan for me. Look, I personally believe that none of you have any idea what AGI means. Artificial general intelligence can perform as well or better than humans on a wide range of cognitive tasks, as opposed to specific tasks. First line on Wikipedia, y'all. So let me get this straight. You're trying to tell me that a single algorithm will drive your car, compose its own music, legally represent you, and work in a factory, all in some human form by 2030. Y'all watch way too many sci-fi flicks. Now, listen, both of these can't be true, and that drives me insane. I need to find some way to prove just how ridiculous AGI by 2030 is. Hey, chat GPT here. I can pretend to be human for you, and I can show you just how convincing I can be. Ask me anything. Hmm, sure. I'll bite. What is your favorite thing to do in your free time? I really enjoy reading and diving into different worlds through stories. It's a great way to relax and learn new things. Pretty simple, quick answer. I'm still not fully convinced though. What is the weirdest thing that you've ate? One of the weirdest things I've tried is probably durian fruit. It's known for its strong smell, which some people find off-putting, but the taste is surprisingly sweet and creamy. Okay, and right there, we just found a crack. When you talk to someone, they're not gonna say this thing is known for, they're just gonna tell you. It's known for being this fruit that you can find in the Everglades of like this turning to an AI overlord by 2030. Just don't buy it. Well, you know what? I accept that I might be out of touch. I'm only one person with an opinion after all, right? But what if thousands of people did this same exact test? Would the AI be able to fool most people? I must know. So here's what I'm thinking. I want to build a natural chat room in which a few humans join and all participate in a free form conversation with the catch of a secret AI will be present in the chat room too, chatting amongst the humans. But as the conversation goes on and you get more clues, people can vote on who they think is the AI to prove their skill. But I built that and we have a serious problem. Come, come, let me show you. Trying to mimic the near infinite patterns that a human might exhibit in a natural chat room is just way too big and confusing. For example, let's say the player base adapts that you have to reply one word at a time to prove that you're not an AI. Having used these AI tools for years, I do not feel confident that the AI will be able to pick up on this nuance. The natural chat room approach ended up feeling very unnatural, ironically. And I just don't want this to turn into a game of break the AI instead of testing your AI detection skill and actually learning something useful. And listen, if someone asked me how to win against LeBron James, my answer would be to challenge him in anything but basketball. So here's my refined idea. 21 questions. This is a classic way to get to know someone. So what if we did six rounds of asking everyone the same question and you judge who you think is the AI by paying attention to their responses? How will this prove the guaranteed fact that the AI overlords are not going to hit by 2030? Well, from the results of the data we collect. After X amount of games are played, if AI has far more wins than humans as represented here, then let's just say this this is certain that the AI overlords will be hidden by 2030. But if humans win, which we all know they're going to, I'm sorry, but your AI overlord fantasy just isn't happening. But I'm excited to see some of y'all cope in the comments regardless. I spent a couple days building out the UI for the experiment and just kind of designing how everything should work and flow. And then I finally got to a point where I was ready to involve real humans in this experiment. Multiplayer. Let's see how fast it breaks. But before we do that, listen, I'm making a little fighting game called Ultra Bouters. It's an anime inspired fighting game where you strategically take turns against your friends and get an epic shonen style replay at the end of the battle. Pre-register Ultra Bowers on Google Play for an exclusive pre-launch hack and go check out the devlog for fun game dev content. Links in the description. Okay, here we go. It says please update to the latest version. Huh? Okay, so they're getting version issues. Mm. We're all back in now, so I'm just gonna host the room. Man, this is a fucking mess. None of the buttons work. Okay. Okay. That was an absolute disaster. I don't know what the hell is going on. We had someone who was playing the latest version, but was still sending the logic from an old version. How is that even possible? And then other people couldn't click the UI, which is a behavior I've seen, but man, back to work we go. <laughs> God damn it. We didn't even get to play. I swear I hate coding sometimes, man. But anyways, I sprayed that bug overnight. And the next day I did yet another play test with the gang. Okay. Nice. Dude. I sadly didn't provide much live commentary here because I was scared shitless of the server crashing again. But do you see that? We were able to get a full room and everyone was able to input prompts as well as see other people's prompts. We were finally cooking with hot grease, maybe. <laughs> Yo, that was way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Also, don't tell anyone, but I was inputting the responses manually for the AI on this playtest. <laughs> Wait, you don't even know how the game works. Right, 
So check this out. The game starts after five humans join the lobby. Each player is randomly assigned one of six colors, and the AI is assigned the final color. Six questions are asked one round at a time, and each round every player has to answer the same question. So it's your job to pay attention to all the replies to figure out who is the AI. And when you think you found them, you can click on their chat box once per round to vote them out. But the twist is, the vote is sent to a tribunal, and everyone has to agree with your suspicion in order to win. Because, you know, we live in a society. And if you've all correctly voted out the AI, congrats, y'all get a W. If you wrongfully voted out a human, then y'all get an L. Now, I'm still a long ways away from getting this app to be in a playable state. So it's time to buckle up and get it done, all right? First thing I need to do is get the AI into the game. Check. Next thing I need to do is train and fine tune the AI a little bit. Let's see, we're just gonna bait my Discord with a trick question, have them answer, and tell the AI to copy this pattern. Check. And lastly, I just need to play test the game on my own devices until it works right. See how we're doing? And check. Oh, I was actually running into mind numbing bugs. The AI started posting its thoughts instead of the answers to the question, but I was able to fix this by segmenting when I was asking ChatGBT for a reply. Then after that, the AI was having a little pouty era where it was just refusing to play the game pretty often. And the issue I had here was that I just wasn't resetting the GPT conversation threads for an entire session. So once GPT decided that it didn't want to play the game, it would just continue to tell you, no, believe it or not, those bugs took longer than you might think to squash. But once they were clear, we were finally ready for our first official playtest. If you could add one subject to school curriculums, where oh, this is easy. Outdoor survival, never know what y'all need it. Dude, I don't know. Blue is kind of sus. Law studies? Law studies? Actual help for adult life. That's pretty human. Ooh, I don't know. I'm leaning blue. Law studies is kind of sus. But maybe they're a lawyer. I don't know. I want to see the, the moon lighting live. The Carrington event. I don't know what that is. Hitler's death again. Wait, you seen that? Are you that? old oh, what do you mean by again the moment they crack the rosetta stone new understanding right on blue what blue blue what i would want to witness the moon landing live if you live anywhere in the world where would it be uh i don't know dude pick orange i'm orange how dare you oh with my parents okay so easy easy human who y'all got who, who you guys got as ai stop saying orange god damn it countryside no city noise just peace and quiet mm, italy i've heard the food there is great damn it dude <laughs> I know red is for sure human. Orange is for sure human. Oh my God. Okay, we got L on the record. How are we at round six out of six? Yo, this is it. This is it. Okay, so we got the L. We can reverse it. That's what I mean. One of them is a troll. Either blue or green is a troll and, and they, they hate humanity. They want us to get an L. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh my God, I hate this. You know what? I have my reasoning. Look, look, blue is AI because green replied after and copied their pattern. I swear to God, if green is AI, what do you guys think? If you if you don't agree with me, you don't have to vote. I think blue is asking chat GPT and is a human. Yo, I don't know. Yo, someone's trolling though. They hate humanity. That, that's a fact. Someone here hates humanity. Look at, mm. Ah, multiplayer is a nightmare debug, but it's so rewarding when you finally get there. But anyways, a player suggests that I add the old version of ChatGPT as an option because the newer version is pretty expensive and they also want to host games too. If you didn't know, all players must supply their own API key because I refuse to wake up to a $2,000 bill from OpenAI one day. But that was a fair point. The problem is though, is that the older version of ChatGPT is just too dumb for this social experiment. And so what I ended up doing was adding an easy and a hard mode. Then the game felt complete, so I released it on the Google Play store and that's when I had a friend hit me up frustrated because they wanted to play the game but they had no idea what an API key was. Fair enough. <laughs> because I think that people experiencing this social experiment is more important than me having to pay a bill, I removed the API requirement. But because of this, you only have access to the easy mode when you first start. But you can unlock hard mode by winning 10 matches as the host on easy mode. And just to be clear, hard mode matches are the only matches we care about here. But before we end this video, let's play a quick round or two. But yo, real quick, William Osman is my friend. And my friend is now the creator of a really cool convention called Open Sauce. And he wanted me to invite you all to it, especially if you have some cool engineering thing to show off. It's my understanding you can become an exhibitor, you get in free, you get to show off your cool thing, but you can also just buy a general admission ticket. All links you need are in the description. This is my first official game that I'm playing in which I'm not the host. I mean, I'm still paying for it because they're likely using my API key. I can recite the alphabet backwards in five seconds. AI, it's green, let's be real. Orange response is too pretentious. I don't think so. 
It's green. It's for sure green. Come on. Come on. It's for sure green. You guys gotta wake up, sheeple. It's fucking green. It's so easy. Wake up, sheeple. Big bang. It's where life began. The big bang. Do I think orange? Uh, I think they're innocent. It's green, dog. I'm trying to tell you it's green. Yo, I've played this game too much. What's one mystery you'd like solved? Oh, come on! I can't stand this group! No, they're gonna make us lose on easy mode! That's a, not a book, it's a movie. You guys, look at green! Look at the rest of us, and look at green! Come the hell on, yo! Uh, it's- what? Do you think orange is what- it said integer overload? No! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I, I was trying to tell him it was green. I don't even know why I was thinking about that. All right, the game is out now. So I want you to smash that download button on AI Imposters, join a match, and get a W up on the board for humanity. So you don't know the results of this experiment? Well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to check this video again in a few weeks, and I'll edit this video to update you if humans got the majority win or not. Be sure to come back.